Greetings, dear friends. Pastor Dave here. It is October 4th, 2011. This is a very serious video. Uh, it comes from my heart, from my heart of hearts. Uh, something that has been troubling me for some time, and I want to ask your advice. Um, I want to start out by saying this video is not to boost my views, not to boost my channel in any way. It has nothing to do with ego. Um, I've been bothered by this. Uh, for a while now. As you know, I've been on YouTube putting out a lot of videos on the rapture uh, for some time now. Uh, I'm a watchman. I'm a watcher. I stand firmly on the wall and I watch. And I sound the alarm. I report back with uh, Bible prophecy and how it current events today line up with Bible prophecy. And the rapture. The gates of heaven are open until Yom Kippur. And many are watching. Strong possibility that the rapture could take place. And I, like all of you, want to be found worthy. I want to be found worthy by Jesus. I want to meet him in the clouds face to face. I want to be taken up with my family. And I want to be reunited with my family that has passed. My aunts, my uncles, my grandfather, my mother, who passed away when I was nine years old to be reunited with my mother again, my grandmother that raised me. As many of you know, I lost my brother in 2002, and growing up without a dad, he was big brother, and he was dad, and my best friend all in one. And what a joyous reunion. But something bothers me. I did not call myself to ministry. Um, our Heavenly Father did. And he's the one that called me to ministry. And I became ordained to serve him. To seek out the lost and bring as many to salvation as I can. And I don't want my ministry to end. So when the rapture does take place, I want to know in my heart of hearts. I at least want to know if I was worthy to be taken up. But I don't want to go. I want to remain here uh, during the tribulation. So many will be left behind. And I know, I know what the Bible says. There will be two witnesses. But I want to continue on doing what I do. That's what I do. I'm a minister. I want to minister to the lost uh, during the tribulation. Um, I'm a fighter. I've been a fighter my entire life. I... Uh, started training when I was very young, 1967, so I can handle myself. I would like to have a spiritual body, or at least be left um, maybe with the body I had at 25 or 30 years old, where I bench pressed 316 pounds and I did 100 pound uh, dumbbell preacher curls. I'd like to be in that condition that I was at one time, uh, 500 setups a day, but I can handle myself. I can live on the land. I'm French Canadian, Native American. I know how to, to survive. My Jeep's all ready. There's a reason I took my Jeep and I camouflaged it. Because I've been thinking about this for a while. How to survive during the tribulation period. How to keep people from taking the mark of the beast. Um, so this has been troubling me. I want your advice. Uh, I don't want my ministry to end. If the rapture took place, we're all up there, we're all saved, there's no one to minister to. And there's so many going to be left behind. There's so many people today that have not uh, been awakened to all the events that are unfolding. They don't see what is coming. Just like in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, in the days of Noah before the flood, they did not see until it was too late. And when the mountains move and the earth trembles and people hide among the rocks, I want to minister to them. Um, I want your thoughts. Uh, leave me comments. Fellow uh, watchmen, watchers, have you thought along this line? Fellow pastors, fellow um, ministers, men of the clergy, women of the clergy, I don't want my ministry to end. And what a time to minister during the great tribulation. 
uh, I would like to, to remain. I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. I know how to survive. Um, and if not, I owe everything. I owe my life to our Heavenly Father. And I gladly give my life for Him. Leave me comments. I get emotional over this. Uh, it's just something I've been thinking about. Uh, I want to know that I'm found worthy. But I don't want to go. God bless everybody. Leave me comments.